Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Freight Forwarding, where we have uh, been forwarding some lasers to the biters via spiderlings. Um, we left off kind of trying to finish our Spidertron army, or Spiderling army, I should say. So that'll take a little bit, and while that is going on, we're working our way towards the lithium battery packs. And I need to keep beaconing things and rebuilding things to be more efficient. Like all of this oil, for example, could be beaconed. Um, I mean, I don't really need it. I'm not worried about oil totals. So for now, I'm actually going to ignore that. Um, I've already beaconed all of my red circuit stuff. I beaconed all of this. I beaconed all of this. Beaconed that. Beaconed that. Okay. This one's still not beaconed, but we deprioritized it. So that's less of a concern. I should probably beacon my military science. So let's go do that. And we did. Wait, why is this only partially? Are we not using this belt? We're not using this belt. Why are we not using this belt? Is it because this uses a whole belt of copper by itself? No? No? I don't know what's going on here. Oh, the issue is far too much uh, copper wire and not fast enough belt. That's what's going on. Um... And those are not all... Uh, it's hard to see when you move. Those are not all tier 2, so we'll get that done. And those are not beaconed. Right. Right. Let's do that. Those guys eat up the copper wire. And then what do we copy? It's this chunk of four. I want to say. Does that look right? It looks like that's right. I think. automate substations because I just remembered that's still a thing and I'm missing two belt pieces there we go okay so that's done that's all tier two all good to go this is all tier two and now beacon these are beacon tier two beacon 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 okay beacon 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 seen that uh, commercial in a while okay so that's done now we definitely want to beacon this because this is spending a good amount of steel and transport packs are, are also fairly expensive so let's Work on getting these beaconed. Um, I'm just going to deconstruct it because I don't know what's going on. And we'll redo it. The, uh, we should be able to just copy this build. Although this build is bigger. It's probably worth doing a four in, one out internal rather than that. So let's, I don't think we have that blueprint yet. I think we were having trouble with the inserter configuration. But we need something that's like 
So, um, like so, and beacon, like so, and we go from there. So, four in. We literally need that many inserters. One is out, of course. Um, I mean, that one's easy. This one's easy because it can just insert up there. This one... Still easy. This one's still easy. Oh, it's really reaching there. Let's let's grab from that spot instead. Um, and then that one just flips around. Okay, so that actually works. Get the undergrounds here. And then for these, I guess it doesn't quite work the same way in reverse that's long that's medium that's short that works for this one as well these two are kind of weird that will place up there that's the medium that's the short this one can't grab from there, so that'll be the medium, that'll be the short, and that'll be the long. Perfect. Okay, and now let's automate substations like we've talked about doing, so that I can have them. And I'm just going to put them wherever the heck I want. Substation. Lead, advanced, steel, copper cable, steel beam. Okay, never mind. We can do a little better. Um, yeah. Look at this. Of course, that's right there. Um... What is... Oh, okay, that's not important. Uh, I don't think that was going up to another water. No. Okay, I'll just make the cable locally. I try to not have copper cable on a... Uh, I guess it's only 16 copper cable. doesn't really matter. I generally try to not put it on a, a request if I can help it. In this case, though, it doesn't really matter. All right, provide, and uh, not that many. Well, does it stack to 50? It does stack to 50. So one stack is 20. And then we have the requester. What happened to my things? There we go. Requester, and I don't need these items. Speaking of steel beams, I was just thinking about beaconing these guys. I think I even said that, right? Dunzo. Really struggling to find these. I'm going to put them on the hotbar. Okay. There we go. Steel beams, more effective, 12%. Cost of more power, which is still fine. Substations are now a thing. We will put on the request 40 to 50, please. And this is where we were setting it all up. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this. Is there a place where I can fit a substation? That 
powers all of it. Because that would be super nice, actually. I think I could... Yeah, I can fit it right there. Because I can just move that one up to that square and this one up to that same square right there. And then... Oh, wait, no, that doesn't work. Well, then it it would be here. Um, that one can place up there. And this one can be swapped with this one. Like that. And then this one can be there. And so then this ends with an underground and it starts with an underground coming in. And then we've got a substation there. Ah, oh, it's just so annoying though because it doesn't get the top ones. Is there a better place to put it? Probably right here. No, I'm, I'm fine with that the way it is. We'll just always have to power up the top. So then this is our beacon build. Uh, we'll call it four in, one out. And then we move that up a little bit. That's where it fits. Pop down three of them. Oh, I forgot the substation. Classic. And this was for the orange science with the prod modules. That should do it. Um, I don't need those. Are these guys up? And the oranges? Funnily enough, I actually need them to go to the other direction. I think we'll work properly if I just do this. Find out. That side feeds up there. I'll have it side feed here so we don't have as big of a buffer. Okay, cool. That helps. Um, I can also prod the copper cable going into, and I can prod these guys. I'm worried about the speed though, so I might just do half prod. Because I'm not really sure what speeds are going to be putting down. And those can't do prod anyway. So, it's called transport. It looks like... I mean, it's kind of messy, but we would peak out at 270, right? We already knew that. What's the new rate? New rate seems to be far better than 270. That's good. Should be. But we're still not that far above 270. I wonder what the, uh, what's the restricting factor here. No, we're still going up. Um, it looks like the restricting factor is the blank tech cards. And the restricting factor for those is just how fast the buildings are going. Not fast enough. Okay. Um, let's fit another one in here. Now 
we've at least got four. That should help. How far are yellow assemblers? Uh, that's a good question. They are not far at all. In fact, I should do those. Probably should do these before lithium and the blue belts. Let's be honest. And we'll do that so we can do all the all the configurations of inserters. And the, I feel like there was one more basic type thing. I know we talked about belts and the assemblers. Was it the big drills? No, it wasn't the big drills. Uh, maybe we already did it. Might have been one of the things we already did. I think it was. Yeah. All right, we'll call that uh, good enough for now. And we'll go back to, oh, Titan Steel. Whoa. Cool. That sounds neat. That's pretty neat. Purple packs. And I think we prodded all this, right? Properly. We didn't beacon it. That's right. And that's not prod two. Okay, hold on. We're not done. I'm not done with you. And what's all this going to? Oh, these, um, 19, okay. Uh, let's just throw a beacon here. Bada bing. There. Resources saved. Will that ever pay for itself? Maybe. <laughs> How much iron is a tier two module? Uh, surprisingly not that much. Okay, that will pay for itself. That's 12% more productivity, and we're only spending, you know, I don't know, that's roughly 120 resources each, 240 resources. That'll pay off. I mean, why waste the beacons? This is backed up anyway, right? I guess I could throw in a couple. Just for kicks. And these guys need to be prod twos. Did not leave room for beacon there. Did leave room for beacon here. Because I thought about it. Might as well skip blue and go right to green belts. That is a thought. I actually was thinking a similar thought a minute ago. I didn't say it though. Um, I was thinking, oh, we can do that. It is very expensive though. 10K plus yellow and purple. Um, I'm not sure, honestly, if we can afford it. Cause blue belts are already a bunch of steel and then green belts are just as much steel again. So it's like double the extra cost, plus you throw in titanium. And I'm not sure. Oh my God. Wait, underground belts are like exponentially expensive. Interesting. Cause it's the cost of the previous underground plus the cost in a full straight belt of the normal type. So there's no discount. Interesting. Well, I guess it's not quite exponential, but that feels more expensive than they normally are. Maybe I'm wrong. And I think we prod to all of this. Just purple. We didn't beacon any of it. Um, but it's ready for beaconing. When we need to. Which is not yet. 
We did beacon blue circuits. We did not beacon titanium. Let's do that. I guess we only beaconed a little bit of this. Arts, right. Oh, I had done part of it. That's right. All right let's get plastic, prod it up. I don't really know why I'm doing this. Waste the modules, probably. It'll save me some, some oil, I guess. Uh, rocket fuel. Rocket fuel. That's just literally all my brain can think of. I'm sorry. It pops into my head every time. Um, I'm going to leave the prod one modules actually for now, but I'm going to beacon it. Those guys built up. Okay. Anything else we can do? I skipped one plastic plant. Did I? Oh, you mean a beacon? Yeah. That was actually intentional, but I might as well throw it there. Why not? Okay. I think we're pretty good on no modules. What? Oh, oh, like way down here. I see what you're saying. That was not intentional. Thank you. Okay, and then research-wise, we are held up on oranges, is that correct? Actually, no, we're not held up on anything right now. We're not held up on anything. That means I need more labs, yes, yes. Though it does look like oranges are not backing up. Yeah, they're not backing up. Okay. Um, why is that? Because everything else is producing very quickly. But not the oranges. Yeah, 240. Yeah, that's bad. We should be getting a lot more than that. What's your problem, orange modules? Just beaconed you. Big poles. Needs more lead. Oh. Oh. Right, did we ever fix the issue? Nope, we did not. Fix lead. I don't know why I put it on the to-do list. It's literally what I'm going to do right now, but, you know, whatever. Just so I don't forget on my way over. Ah, uh, do you remember when we had to walk everywhere? Those were the times. How much is still left? One million? Plus, somehow I missed, like, a random smattering of lead over here. 
Uh, where's my tier two drill? There's like one. Where even is it? Oh, there it is. Wait, three lead. LOL. One, two, three. Okay. That's hilarious. Um, and then there's 233 back there. Here it is. Okay, so I realized that this line was never connected. I think somebody pointed this out to me at some point, and I completely missed it. Like on a YouTube comment. Uh, so we'll do that, and then... Uh, let's see, we need these two going all the way to the end. That should be pretty good. Let's get all the old ones deconned. It's interesting, the decon planner that automatically deconstructs drills when they're done times out eventually, and that's why these aren't getting automatically. Okay. I think we're good. Now, rate-wise, that is 52. I don't really think I need tier 2 drills. What I might do is put a chunk of tier 2s right in the middle of the densest part that's left so that once the rest runs out, we still get a decent rate from this row. Because this row was the one that wasn't getting input at all. So that might be the best way to increase the longevity of the rate. It will actually end up with the whole patch getting mined out sooner though. Doing it that way. Okay, but that should get us back to the full 30 per second ore. And then we can enrich the lead which is not something we're doing either. Is there much in those? No. So why don't we do some enrichment? I don't know what I did with the one that I thought I grabbed. Oh, I put it on the ground. There it is. I'm just stepping in it. Okay, so we're at eight, I think. Yeah, eight more. We had 15, so that puts us at 23. So I still need nine more to get to my 32. Nine more. And did I put that on the greens? When I say that, I mean the one, one of each speed and prod. I feel like it's just good practice because um, a speed and a prod is, you know, a strict, strictly better than nothing. Because it's both faster and more productive. It's, it's more power, I guess. So, yeah, not strictly better for your power usage, but, you know, power is easy. Um, there's a very small amount of iron showing up, which is worrisome. Yeah. I think that's because we only have the two belts. We probably need all three going up to that balancer i originally didn't have the balancer which why i didn't didn't have all three belts but now we do really it should be four belts 
Okay, yeah, there's really no reason for this to not just be three belts now. Could make it four. Why don't we? We have the red containerizers now. bus supports two belts of iron in each direction. Ta-da! Cool. I was going to say, I'm like, we just set up another iron mine. Don't tell me. Don't you tell me, sir, that we need more flipping iron. And you know what I should do here? is set up the beacon build as well. And you guys get... Oh gosh. Um... That's disgusting. Get rid of that detritus for me. Thank you. Please and thank you. Apparently that was load-bearing power. And then we'll do the strict upgrade on these guys. And then the beacon build. Bloop, 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 bloop. There you are. Oh, that's going to be annoying. I really need to move it over with you. Okay, um, because then it's going to conflict with these beacons. Otherwise. Two, three. Should do it. You go here, you go there. Speeds in, substations in, recipe, broad, copy. Power. Success! Team. Woo. Okay, so that'll be cheaper military science. And I'm just going to get rid of all this. More detritus. Oh, probably we'll need the wire back at some point. Oh, we good? Yeah, we're good. All this stuff is being shipped via plane anyway, so it gets more bots, more repair packs. It's making its own walls down there. And it's getting uh, laser turrets, so we shouldn't really have to do anything. Oh, that's right. We were going to do 
Oh, now we have enough lead. Well, that doesn't make sense. We're getting zero orange packs? Okay, I broke something. I broke it. Oops, you broke it. What did we break? Broke steel. Oh, we didn't break steel. We just don't have any. Uh, it's probably a little bit of a delay from not having the iron for a second. But now we do. So I think we're okay now. There was just a delay there. Maybe we're not. I don't know. Um, one thing we should do, though, is set up electric furnaces. 12% more steel is a big deal. So, yeah. What does our build look like down here? Is this copyable for steel? Uh, I mean, it is. Do I want to do it this way? Sure. It's already done. I need a beacon, these two. Um, and I'm gonna let the bots deal with this mess. I'm just gonna back off. Uh oh. There goes power. Let's connect it over here. I'll just let them clear all that out. I might need some more storage chests, though. Oh, it's so satisfying, like, the shapes that the bots fly in. I hope y'all's uh, bitrate isn't getting completely demolished by bots. If we end up really having a bot-focused base with bots constantly flying around, I mean, it's already starting to get there, but when I'm not doing construction, it's not as bad. I usually will play with the mod that makes them invisible. So that your bitrate isn't crushed. Okay, we're almost there. Problem is all the bot charging. Whatever, we're hopping in. Okay, so then we need this. And we'll start... Um, I mean, this is entirely... defunct, isn't it? Because all of this coke was purely for steel. Oh, we still need coke for steel. Duh. Sorry. I keep forgetting it's not just fuel. It's also an ingredient. That is um, something I literally forgot until two seconds ago. Okay, so full prod. That all built. Um, so I am glad I'm doing it this way then. I was only thinking there's one ingredient to steel. But there's two. full belt by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, at least something. Now that's scary. Was that supposed to be hooked up to something? No, it copied because there's one on the the, uh, the island that I copied from. It's not actually. 
for this spot. Okay. Turn them all into steel, and what do we get? Oh! What the heck? Exactly 60? Exactly 60? What are the odds of that? That's gotta be very improbable. Um, now what I'm thinking is we provide the coke from the outside or we put the iron on the outside, either way. And then we can have the full 60 available. You know, we can just provide this from... I don't know why I'm doing it that way. We can just go like this. And then get those inserters all set up. What's up, Teus? How's it going? Welcome, welcome. You know what I'm gonna do? Make this so much better. Substations. We're not talking Jimmy John's. We're not talking Subway. We're talking substations. And then we're gonna bring second belt oh well maybe we're not maybe one belt into steel is all we're gonna get for now feels wasteful let's let's get two belts so the second belt is here here, which means I need to move that to like that. I need to get rid of all that iron. And then we have multiple issues now. So many of these, which one's lead? We can't mess up lead or this copper one, but what's this one? This one is nothing. This is not connected to anything. This was probably old iron. I think this was our extra iron. You love having only a 9 a.m. class? Yeah, that is nice. Get it out of the way and then you're done. Okay, yeah, that's all good now. Um, so the second iron. And where's this iron coming from? I don't even know. Let's just active provide whatever this is. Just to get it into the system eventually. Okay, and then the other steel, or I mean iron will come down here. This one, right? No, wait, what? I lost it. It's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That underground's not necessary. Um, that. This iron is only the iron that came from the train. It's empty now. So it's just gonna use up this last little bit. So that's thankfully not anything to be concerned about. And don't really know what the heck's going on here, but we're gonna make it look a little nicer. Wait, this is coming down? Where's this coal going? Apparently. We'll do it that way. Did somebody say there's a mod to make it so that you can't mine uh, robots on accident? Because I think I need to get that mod. 
I'm really tired of mining robots on accident. I want to say someone said that mod exists. Alright, there we go. So, if we're not using any iron, which doesn't really make sense, because if we're using steel, we're probably using iron too, but if this half of the bus is not using the iron, we can put all of it towards steel. That's what we just accomplished there. We still haven't done anything with lead productivity though, which requires enrichment. Um, and I do think lead enrichment is important. So let's do it. How much does it make? Yeah, 33.6. So technically more than a full belt. So we can even use the full belt of steel and a little bit of iron left over. Um, okay, so we need the enrichment going on just like copper's got the... Well, actually, aren't we just sending in copper plates now? So this is all just bonus. This is all just bonus. Part of me wants to... I guess we could start filling storage chests, right? Okay, anyway, um, enrichment. We've got the sulfuric somewhere nearby, so let's just cut this off. Let that process for a second so we don't end up with as much inventory crap. This one I'm honestly going to leave. It's a small enough amount of copper that I don't really care to fix it right now. And it's only going to matter until this lead patch is gone. Um, where is it? This one. Because eventually that will run out and then we'll do lead over here. Starting to get ore explosion flashbacks. Yeah, no thanks. Not a fan of that. Okay, so enriching. Enriching is chemical plants. think yes um and this gets us so much more prod overall because enriching is a two two step prod um productivity because we get the productivity on the enrichment and we get the productivity on yeah that's already more than 30 I guess we could set it up for 45 a sec. As well, blue belts soon enough. Okay, input, output. Um, I don't know how to do it on this one. Let me just copy that. Okay. Uh, side of the belt, doesn't matter. Close, 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 half and half. Um, what are the odds? Probably not good. That we can also just smelt it on the other side then. so nice. I didn't even know that. You don't get any copper byproduct when you enrich the lead. Or do we? Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> Just kidding. We get it on the enrichment step. 
if only. Yeah, that only handles 10 a second. So we're gonna need another row. We were hopeful, but our hopes were dashed. Um, okay. Is that right? No. Uh, all of it, it looks like. There we go. Uh, okay, so the extra copper goes to here. That's the copper. What was this doing? Who even knows? That mattered for something back in the day. Let's keep it yellow. Okay, anyway, um, we've got this now. Beacon. Oh, maybe we did want the extra space. This is so Okay, new idea. We're gonna have two rows of beacons anyway. I'm just gonna do outer, outer beacons instead of inner. Oh, input belt, output belt, one space. Let me do another row of beacons on the bottom. Wait, oh, I got consumed, consumed by the furnace. Okay, in, out, in. Out. Copy. Paste. Lead. Uh, no. This one. Power. Uh, substations. Done. Okay. We need uh, some water treatment. Be over here. This is all just trash now. Um, logistics on Coke. We need to cap out at 50 iron ore, cap out at 25. Rip power again. Yeah, honestly, though, this train's not even doing anything anymore. I don't think so. That pretty much unnecessary other than the fact that I still want robo port coverage over there okay uh we need the sulfuric which is over here somewhere Where are you pipe visualizer okay sulfuric's up here I'll have that come down Then turn the corner there. Perfect. Uh, yeah, you might be right. That power might. I don't actually know. This power over here only goes to here. It doesn't do anything else. Because this power that goes down south uh, is connected to the the labs and such. Uh, not that I should be okay with my power getting disconnected. Okay, and then we need the water hookup plus the dirty water recycle. Which we've determined filtration plants into crushers can work as long as we have speed in the crushers. 
and we can find the crushers. Mm -hmm. And then we hook up the water to the water. We hook up the dirty water to the dirty water. And then we add in a top up to the water. With an atmospheric condenser. To 20. Why are these all the way over here? Don't ask. And we'll just do any of these. So I'm not recycling. Come at me. Do that. Let's see, how do we do this? I'll actually put that there. select water and that should start the whole chain if I did this right should see some water start showing up and these only need 25 water to get started so who's who's getting it first um, none of you that doesn't sound right that 4.5 water going? Oh, the first one. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh, you know what? I bet it has to fill a little buffer inside the top-up valve before it spills over. There we go. All right. Enriched lead is now a thing. Look at that. Oh, and then we need to connect the belt. Lead belt, shoot. Um, which one is it? It's all gotten used up, so I can't. Oh, it's this one. Which is this one? Which is this one? Which is this one? Which is right here. Uh, I lost where I am. Okay. And that caps out at 20 a sec. Whereas we will be getting 30 once we have... Um, I can't. Words. Once we have blue belts. So we'll put this up one more layer. Left, copper. Okay, we connect that. Get rid of the copper on that. And now we're good. Oh. Zero to 25 is what I wanted for these. Uh, 25 was not meant to be a minimum, but a maximum. Okay, there we go. So now we can process a whole red belt of input. Sweet. Boom, right under an hour. Perfect episode length, perfect ending spot. We got ourselves some lead. A lot more lead now than we had before. What even is the ratio now? Because we've got 9 to 5, and then 5 to 5, but that's multiplied by 1.18 and 1.12. So it's 5 ninths is how much we get per ore, but then that's multiplied times 1.18 times 1.12. We're up to 73% uh, efficiency, like plates per ore. Not bad. 
It's a lot better than what you start with. What you start with is less than one half. It's 45% is what you start with. And we're up to 75% now. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's actually 67% improvement over what we had per ore. There's a ton more. Okay, so that'll take a minute to propagate and back things up again. Because we were, we were without lead for a long time. So our uh, transport science was probably, yeah, at zero for the last 10 minutes. But now it should start picking up again. Yep, here we go. We'll see. It starts zooming back up, I hope. Let me just make sure nothing else is wrong with it before we end the episode. I'm guessing it's all, it's all lead based. Yeah, pretty sure that's it. And we are loading lead in with a loader, which is good. At least 10 minutes is less than five hours. Five hours? Wasn't it like seven and a half hours or nine hours or something that the titanium wasn't working? Oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. Oh, it was so ridiculous. How are the trees doing with pollution? Pretty good. But you know what will be better than pretty good? Really good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. That'll do it. Let's, uh... Five and a half thousand more trees. Boom. All right, we'll end the episode there. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below for you YouTubers. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.